Peace. This is Left Side of the Brain coming at you once again. Tonight I want to talk about the fear of dying. Many of you have already left this world. What I mean by that statement is many of you are only operating because you have hunger pains and you go to sleep, you wake up, but in all actuality, many of you have already left this world. To further explain what I'm saying, the fear of dying, the fear of dying is what is keeping most of you around. If you knew that there was something waiting for you better than what you are experiencing right now, you would have been pushed the eject button. You would have been jumped off the cliff and opened up the parachute. You would have a long time ago clocked out but because you fear the afterlife or you may think that this is it and there's nothing beyond this this is what keeps you here let's just be real many of you have retired already and I don't mean it in the sense of you quit working I mean it in the sense of many of you have lost hope, not because you are weak, not because you don't have faith, but because you're drained. And how I can say this is because I feel the same way. Don't feel ashamed about waking up some days and not wanting to be here. Don't feel ashamed about it. Because in the type of world that we live in, if you don't have these type of feelings, then I must question what side you stand on. Because the people in this world that are happy are the ones who are doing the exploitation. The people who are feeling the pain are the ones who are being ex exploited. So, like they say, ignorance is bliss. And just like life is bliss, once you find out what it's all about, and once you discover that your life isn't isn't getting any better. Every year you have a birthday. Every day you wake up. And it's starting to feel like. The same old event every day. It's like somebody is. Playing reruns. Of a 70s sitcom. Of the same show. Over and over and over and over and over. I know many of you are feeling like this. <clears throat> Especially if you have a soul. And on top of that, the struggle. Having to pay bills. Having to put on a false mask every day. Every day you go outside, you have to pretend that you are happy. You have to pretend that you like the people that you are dealing with. Maybe you have a Facebook. You're taking selfies, posting selfies of yourself to fool somebody as if you have this great life when really you are hurting on the inside. I know a lot of you feel that way. Now, this hurt doesn't mean that you are a failure. 
Sometimes being a failure in this life can be just because you don't fit in. That would make you a failure because it's a disappointment once you realize that all of the things that you dreamed of when you was a kid, you thought that you was going to be this, you thought that you was going to be that, then you grew up. And then you started to realize that to be all of those things, it required you to fit in. Once you have reached this age and you realize that you don't fit in, it kind of make you feel like you are you are a failure. Now, I'm not going to call you a failure because of that, but you still may have that feeling of disappointment and I'm just here to tell you that's the origin of it that's where it's coming from if you are feeling that that's the origin of it and but look on the bright side <clears throat> there's always a bright side the bright side is if you feel like giving up Maybe because you are a, are a good person. Look at it like that. You are a good person. But then you also have to look at it like this. Because you are a good person, you have to stay strong. No matter what, we have to stay strong. Now, this video is more so a message of encouragement. Um, in the comments section, there has been... There have been people suggesting that they want to kill themselves. They have tried to commit suicide. Trust me, I feel you. And I'm not, I'm not blaming you for that. Don't feel bad about it. But I just want to say, stay strong. Hold on. I don't know what you're going through. Only God knows. But we have to find something in our life that can be a candle for us to focus on. We have to find some focal point so we don't lose it. Like I stated in the previous video, they want us to go out on the deep end. Now, this is my therapy right here. This is my therapy. Left side of the brain. This is my therapy. This left side of the brain channel, this is my therapy. What you all see me doing, this is my life. It's a, it's a simple life. I work. I do other things. But all in all, it's simple. I don't have any friends. I don't go to the clubs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't fit in. But I'm fine with that. You have to be fine with it. Take this awkwardness and use it to your advantage. Use your moments of solitude to create, write books, write poetry, start a website, start a, 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 a blog talk page, do whatever you have to do, listen to uh, Left Side of the Brain channel, this is therapy in itself, I've told myself, I'm going to start doing these videos more and more regular now because this is therapy to a lot of us. This is therapy to me. This is therapy to you. And to some people, this is their only outlet. Some people are on the verge of ready to leave here. I know I've been there. I battle with that every day. Suicidal thoughts. It's a normal thing. 
I get it. I know you've you've had the feelings. You've wanted to commit suicide. I understand. I can tell y'all some personal things about me. I've been there before, man. You're not the only one that's feeling like that. And guess what? It's a it's a continual bout. Every day, it's an up and down thing. Okay? I've been to the bottom of hopelessness. I've been to the bottom of the hopelessness well. I've been down there. I've been down the road of despair. I've been down that road. I know what it's like. I've been inside of the empty closet of loneliness. I'm in there right now. That's where I find my, that's where I feel accepted at the same time. The only, only time I feel accepted is when I'm by myself. When I'm all alone, I'll be like, yes. When I get home at the end of the day, I'll be like, yes. I'm in my sanctuary. I don't have to put on a show. I don't have to disguise myself. I don't have to record videos and whisper because I know what I'm saying is not permitted. When I'm at home, I can be myself like I'm doing right now. I'm being myself. What I'm doing right now, I'm being very up close and personal with all of you. This is very transparent. Being myself, letting it all out. These videos I'll be doing, you're not going to get this type of gen, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, What's the word? Uh, and genu not genu generosity, but genuineness. Yeah. You're not going to get this type of genuineness anywhere. This channel is very genuine. We cover things that we actually go through. We cover things that that protect us out in public. We cover things that teaches us how to maneuver through this world that we live in. We're not just quoting terminology and trying to sound smart and intellectual. That's not the purpose of this. This is therapy to a lot of you. This is therapy to me. And I just want to say, I might be saving somebody life from jumping off the cliff. Don't do it. Hold on. We have a bigger reward in store. We just got to find a way to keep our sanity. Now, about the fear of dying. What I mean is, it's two, two, two meanings to what I'm saying. The first is, you can't be afraid to give it up. Remember how I say, become the walking dead? You can't be afraid to just give this thing up. I'm talking about the, the life of this world, you know. You can't be afraid to just drop it and let it go. In another sense, you can't be afraid to just actually die the fear of dying without leaving a name in this world and that's what i mean by that you can't you can't have a fear of dying like oh what if i die and i didn't become this i didn't become that what does it matter see all of that stuff creates and induces stress upon you just live and be free. I can't say it no better than that. I can't explain it no better than that. Just live and be free. That's it. If you live and be free, you don't even have to commit suicide. Because you won't be worried about anything. You'll just, you just be living for yourself. And it's, it's a form of selfishness, not selfishness like 
you see somebody and they don't and they dying and they in desperate need for a cup of water. I don't mean it like that. I mean selfishness in the sense of self-preservation, not overextending your energy to impress other people and to appease others. That's what we got to grasp and start to implement inside of our lives because that's that you know how they say walking the thin line between uh sane and insanity that's how you walk that thin line by practicing selfishness self-preservation which is the first law of nature. Okay. You see, the animals, they practice self-preservation. They're not out here trying to impress people. You know how many animals that live in solitude? You got you got animals like moles. They live in burrows under the ground. You got spiders. They live in um in webs in a corner. You got you got moths that are just sit in one spot. It's this moth that's been sitting outside of where I stay. It's been sitting there for the last three days. Just been sitting there in a in a state of of animation. Just sitting there. You got all type of different animals. That's why the mascot for this channel is the Jaguar. Take on an animal character. That's what you need to do. Pick an animal and connect yourself with that animal. It can be the jaguar if you want to use that. It can be some other animal. Something that, that, um, that, that correlates with your type of behavior. Pick an animal that lives in solitude. That you see something inside of yourself within that animal that's what you need to do you don't have to be the uh the colony mind like everybody else to feel like you're living a good successful life redefine redefine the definition of success success to me is just peace peace of mind not not how much money i got in the bank account not what type of car i got sitting in the driveway not that my children are going off to this ivy league school that's not what i call success not because i'm married no those are just things that we think what purpose is that's not purpose that's desires People get purpose and desires twisted. Peace is perfection. Success is perfection. Before I go, I would like to say, start to perfect your loneliness. Perfect your loneliness. And, and you will see that your life will change. Because see, all your life, you've been told that you need the group. You need the group for this. You need the group for this. The earth itself is designed, really, for us to live in solitude. Think about it. Before they created money, before they created borders to separate territories, everything in this world was free. Meaning, meaning that the creator designed it so that we wouldn't have to depend on a person for nothing. The water was free, was free. The fruit that grows on the trees are free. Everything you need is free. So you won't have to depend on anybody for anything. So what I'm saying is go back to nature. 
by living in solitude. If we didn't have money in this world, we would we could we wouldn't have to be on a job working. Only reason why we put up with that stuff is because they and this kind of taking this video into another subject matter, but I'm gonna just briefly touch on it. The only reason why we have to do that is because they created a world that's totally opposite of freedom. And because they created money, they separated us from freedom. And they took control of the food, the water, so they could take control of our peace. Because part of our peace comes from knowing that we're going to have a place to lay our head at, at night. We're going to have a roof over our head. We're going to have food in our refrigerator. We're going to have, you know, all of the necessities of life. And on top of that, they add the societal pressures. You got to live up to this type of standard to be a man. You got to live up to this. You got to live up to that. You got to be, if you're a woman, you got to be this shape to be beautiful. You got to be this. You got to be that. They created all of these standards, you see. So what I'm saying is, in your loneliness, you can eliminate all of those problems. Unfortunately, we have to work, you see, because that's just what it is, right, at this moment. They've taken full control. They even have the earth itself under hostage. When we have to pay for things, that's the natural world under a hostage situation. The natural world does not defend the system of money. If they, if they, if they got rid of the money system tomorrow, the natural world is not going to protest, bring back money, bring back money. The trees are not going to do that. The animals are not going to do that. So what that tells me is they have this world under a hostage situation. They have you under a hostage situation. The fact this organic portal realm is putting this pressure on us is a form of of a form of abuse they abusing us and they have us under a hostage situation and the only way that we can escape it at this moment we have to escape it by unplugging ourselves from this from all of the from all of the things that we've been taught since a child and what I'm saying is, it's time to abandon it. And I feel, I feel where you're coming from. And you know who I'm talking to. I feel where you're coming from. And I just want you to know you are not alone in this. And I would like to leave you all with that. And um, I have so much more I could say right now, but. Just been having so many things on my mind, man. And I feel it's now or never because we're going into 2020. Like I said in the previous video, before this video, by 2020, we should be having 2020 vision. So it's time that we turn up our lifestyle. Turn up our lifestyle. It's time that we take these things serious. Because that's what's going to save us. We are in the last final days. We don't have much time left on this planet. And this video is, is saving somebody right now. Saving somebody from going insane. Whenever you're about to go insane... Play this video. Come back to these videos and play it. Because the same things that I'm telling you, I play it inside of my mind. When I'm out walking around, I notice who is who. Always be aware of your surroundings. 
We got to start living like this day by day. And this is where we're going to get that peace from. Know who, know who your friends are. As a matter of fact, get that terminology friends out of your mind. Because if they not thinking like this, if they not talking like this, they not your friend. I'm going to tell you straight up. They're going to cause problems in your life. It's time we start leaving behind people that's not on the level. I'm telling you, we are living in the last days. We are in the final hours, people. I went out to eat tonight by myself. I was just looking at the people in the restaurant. I was there for the food and just sightseeing. That was it. I was just there for food and sightseeing. I'm not I'm not in there to be a part of the party. I'm just there sightseeing. I'm 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 an observer at this moment in my life. I'm just in a museum. And it's like I'm just looking at an aquarium that's around me. That's it. I'm not a part of this. Take on that attitude, that mentality. And when you when you do that, what you have done, you have separated yourself from those who are going to be destroyed. Because we in the final days and the last hours. And once you separate yourself from this, you put a seal upon your soul. So when it's time for this thing to be destroyed, you will be saved. That's salvation. I'm not teaching religion. I'm teaching salvation through separation. Even the Bible says to come out from amongst them. And this is what it is saying. Come out from amongst them. It also says be ye separate. I'm not speaking religion. I'm just pulling out the parts in the religion that's mixed in with the corruption. Because they, they were never able to destroy the message. They can add to it. They can do whatever. But, but we can pull out what is the, the pure message that can never be tainted. So keep these things in mind. Keep your heads up. And till next time, this is Left Side of the Brain. Signing out. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. To those who are from the old channel, the new subscribers, people from the old channel, homework assignment. We need 500 subscribers by the end of this month so I can start doing live streams. And so I can launch. I'm launching a blog talk radio. By the end of this month, when I get 500 subscribers... I'm leaving that duty on y'all. Let's build a subscription up. I was up to like 5,000 or something last time. But we in a war. They shot a missile. They destroyed the channel. So now I'm having to build it back up to where I was. So I'm going to need your help to help me do this. Also, go donate to um, the Patreon. Any amount is appreciated www.patreon.com slash left side of the brain if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe we need to take this stuff more serious until next time this is left side of the brain signing out